Hey, McDowan here. Today we are taking a look at the 7-inch Fortnite action figure, Peely Bone, from McFarlane. Never ever did I think I would buy an action figure like this. This is a crazy looking figure, and I ordered it from Walmart.com for $24.99. Alright, let's flip around and take a look at the back of the box. As you can see with the cross sale, there is nothing new here, and I actually suspect that this just might be the last McFarlane action figure that we see. I kind of hope I'm wrong, but I think I'm not. For those who want to see the barcode, here it is. Alright, let's get this action figure out of this box. If you're new to the channel, welcome, and please subscribe so you'll be notified of future videos. If you want to help the channel out and you play Fortnite, please feel free to add my creator code to your epic account. It's McDowan. Peely Bone is an epic skin, and he's part of the Banana Bunch set. Released in Chapter 2 Season 1, this skin can be purchased for 1500 V-Bucks during the months of October and November. He comes with the Death Valley Harvesting Tool, and you got the skull with the nails piled in, the horns over here, and it's all wrapped and attached to a pickaxe. The handle is a bone appearing with some uh, brown wraps to be able to hold on and swing away to harvest that building material. And the banana bag, back bling, it's got a couple bananas there, I guess if he wants to be a banana cannibal and have some snacks. <laughs> a canteen's over here in this right side pouch, and it's got some nice little details, some gray straps here, some gray strap highlights there, but it's a nice basic looking, uh, maybe like a jungle backpack if you will, and it fits on the figure really well. And a grenade launcher. I believe we've seen one of these from McFarlane before. It's very nice with the tans, blacks, and the red stripe there. And the figure holds it pretty well. Finally, a round, circular Fortnite figure stand that has two pegs on it and holds the figure very well. So this figure is a little over 7 inches tall and has, I don't know, about 18 to 20 points of articulation. The box doesn't mention how many, but the articulation is different from the right side to the left side. For a quick comparison, I've got the Jazzwares Legendary Series Peely here, so you can kind of see the height difference there. This figure is actually just a little over six inches from for its six inch line, so you can see how much higher, or how much taller this banana stands. So let's take a look at the articulation. Bear with me a little bit, I'm like really far away. This is such a tall figure, and so I'm really far away. I'm stretching as far as I can to reach over. There's no articulation in the main body section here. The articulation is only at the arms and the legs. So the arm on the left side goes around, lifts up. It's very loose. There's no, as far as I can tell, there is no butterfly joint, it's just an up and down and a roundabout. There's a bicep rotation, double pin at the elbow. There is a typical McFarlane or Fortnite McFarlane uh, ball joint. It, it pegs into the arm, pegs into the wrist or the hand, so you can rotate at both locations as well as hinge. The right side, however, the shoulder is on just a ball joint there, so you can make it go pretty much any which way you can. There's no up, yeah, up and down, left and right, roundabout, whatever. The elbow is a single pin right there, and the wrist is on a left and right, this type of a hinge. There is also, be careful, I had to loosen mine very gently. You can also rotate the wrist around. At first it was very stuck and it didn't want to rotate at all. I'll rotate the figure around to the back so we look at the legs from this side. It's a different view than usual, but the right leg has a, a hinge and a rotation. There is a single pin at the knee, and the ankle also has a single pin for back and forth. You can rotate at the ankle. There is also a pin on the toes. There, something like that. This one has a lot more flexibility, a lot more posability because it's open here. You can bring the leg out, you can move the leg forward if you want, and you can move the leg backwards if you would like to. The left side over here does not have nearly the amount of motion because it's sealed in. The leg does move around, but it can't go forward and it can't go back 
not a lot. Double pin at the knee, as you can see, and then the similar ankle joint as the wrist. A peg going up into the leg and a peg going down in the foot makes kind of like a double uh, rotation, but there's also a hinge there, and it's really good, really good. And then there's a toe hinge as well, and that wraps up the articulation portion of this event. But yeah, it's pretty nice. I I have a love-hate relationship with these McFarlane Fortnite action figures. I'm not a huge fan of the, the, the articulation in the legs. But come on, isn't this a crazy figure? I mean, look at this. You've got a skeletal, it's almost like an excavation if you think about it. This is all in the dirt and they've excavated this portion. I don't know. Well, we got some pink intestines or, or something down here. You got the bone, got the skull. It's a crazy figure. You see how the peg works for the back bling back here, how it pegs right in. And that's kind of neat. This body is, I believe, I don't have the original McFarlane Peely, but I believe the body is that softer rubber uh, exterior that they put on there. It's just only covering half of it. And so, but it's a cool looking figure. I mean, it's very fascinating. It's a it's a crazy looking figure and so yeah I and mean, it's just really interesting it's it's very compelling uh very appealing hardy horror yeah that was a bad joke i do like the figure it's very very interesting anyway now it's your turn what do you think about this figure leave your thoughts in the comment section below and before you go if you haven't already check out my recent review of the gold eight ball preset pack in the lower left hand corner Thank you for watching. Please like this video and share it everywhere. It really helps the channel. I will see you in the next video.